On Tuesday, in the state capitol building in Hartford, Connecticut's new governor, Dan Malloy, took to his chair for the very first time. This uh, uh, first uh, executive order I'm signing is the GAP order. Um, as you know, I had pledged uh, uh, early in the campaign, uh, actually I pledged uh, five and six years ago that uh, if I ever became governor that we would uh, implement GAP and it is now a signed executive order. And I'm going to steal this pen because yep. that's mine now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can have this one back. All right. <laughs> Um, I had also pledged during the campaign uh, that we would do everything within our power to retain the records of the prior administration uh, for uh, appropriate purposes, uh, and this uh, executive order uh, seeks to make sure that that happens. Finally, for the purposes of a smooth transition, I am modifying uh, by this executive order or previous order of my predecessor with respect to the holdover of retired employees. I want to be very clear. Uh, I'm signing this only for the purpose of uh, an orderly transition. Uh, as you know, not uh, all of the commissioners are in place, and actually none of them are approved. Um, uh, so uh, for the purpose of transition only, uh, we are extending a period of time up to 60 days uh, uh, during which uh, previously retired employees could continue to work for the state. Certainly don't want to violate the prior governor's orders. <laughs> 